On June 24th, the United States Supreme Court overturned its landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision, which for nearly half a century had guaranteed the right to abortion in America. Abortion rights supporters had been preparing for the news after a draft opinion involving a Mississippi abortion ban was leaked in May. The court's six conservative justices voted to uphold the Mississippi law, and five of them went further, overturning Roe v. Wade entirely. The enormity of the decision and its implications for the lives of women saw huge crowds take to the streets in cities across the U.S. Republican lawmakers welcomed the ruling. The womb is now, in Oklahoma, the safest place for a child to be. Democrats and the White House vowed to respond. Now, with Roe gone, let's be very clear. The health and life of women in this nation are now at risk. But already the fallout has been swift. More than two dozen states are now expected to ban abortion. Trigger laws in several states, including Arkansas and Missouri, have already made abortion illegal. Studies forecast such prohibitions will lead to an increase in pregnancy-related deaths. Already, some providers are halting access to emergency contraceptives known as Plan B over legal concerns. And women now fear they could be targeted by prosecutors. On social media, users urged one another to delete period tracking apps and to take other steps to protect their digital privacy. Conservative lawmakers are now setting their sights on abortion pills. Approved by the FDA, these medications can be ordered online and can safely terminate a pregnancy within the first 10 weeks. More than half of all abortions in the U.S. already use them. Interest in abortion pills has grown since the Supreme Court's decision. States like Colorado and Illinois, surrounded by others likely to enact abortion bans, are preparing for an influx of people seeking terminations. Others like California, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Delaware are taking steps to protect abortion providers and offer support to out-of-state patients. With Roe struck down, the Supreme Court's conservative majority may now set its sights on other landmark decisions. In a concurring opinion in the Mississippi case, Justice Clarence Thomas said the court should revisit several key cases that advance sexual and reproductive rights. Thomas named decisions establishing the right to contraception legalizing same-sex sexual activity, and the landmark 2015 Supreme Court case, Obergefell v. Hodges, which allowed same-sex couples to legally marry in the United States. As women across the country grapple with the impact of Rose Fall, LGBTQ Americans and those who use birth control may now feel they are within the sights of the court.